you know, life, life, man, is simply about, life is simply about perspective, man. It's simply about perspective. It's, it's simply about a person managing their point of view. You know what I'm saying? If, if a person, if a person understands how important this is, if a person understands how to manage, you know, where they're sitting, brother, they, they pretty much have life figured out. You know, we can sit here and talk about, we can sit here and talk about life hacks. We can sit here and talk about prayer and meditation and what religion is best and, 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 and what, what source synergy is and what God is and all that stuff, brothers. But at the end of the day, man, if you want to call it, you know, the hack of all hacks is, is simply managing, managing your point of view. It's, it's simply managing wh where you decide to sit. I'll say it like that, man. For example, for example, if you have, if you have, you know, 10 people on a bus sit, sitting, you know, wherever they're sitting on the bus. And they drive by and they see some kind of event. They see some kind of car accident. You, you're going to have, you're going to have 10 different perspectives. If they're sitting there giving their report at the end of the day, they're going to have 10 different versions of, of what took place. And all of them are true. Some people are going to be saying, yeah, man, I saw, I saw when old dude made the wrong turn because I was in the front. Some people are going to say, man, well, when I got to the, when I got to the accident, you know, I saw, I saw people getting out the car, getting ready to fight. So, so it must have been their fault. Everybody was right. It was all about where they were sitting on the bus. You know what I'm saying? Which, you know, and that's what's determining their truth. You know what I'm talking about? For example, another example. If somebody goes to a concert, if somebody goes to a football game, right? You have to understand that, that if 50,000 people are in a stadium, those are 50,000 different views that are, that are being observed. You know, if, at the end of the game, when they go out in the parking lot, and they're talking about it. If one was sitting on the other side of the field, one was sitting by the end zone and they're talking about, you know, the game went in play, that they all have different versions of it. You know what I'm saying? But, but they're all true. It, it's all their experience. And I'm telling you, man, if, if you can understand what I'm saying right now, if you can understand that, brother, I'm telling you, man, you, you, you got life by the cojones. You're ahead of the game, bro. Because what I'm explaining, man, is how life works. Like, like, like life as a whole is simply a game, man. It's simply, it's simply a globe. It's simply a stadium. And everybody has their own perspective of it, man. But it's, it's simply all they're describing or really all they're experiencing is, is, is based on where they're sitting at. So you have some people that may complain about certain things. Some people that might, that might love certain things. It's like, no, bro, you, you probably just have a bad seat. You know what I'm saying? But you got to understand this, man. Th this is what I'm really getting to. You have to understand that. You have to understand, man, that this world, it really doesn't have control over us. It, what is, what's really, what this world is really trying to do, man, is, 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 is gain control of your mind. And when I say gain control of your mind, this world is simply telling you where you're supposed to sit. Y'all get what I'm saying now? This world is simply telling you where you're supposed to be sitting at. Are you supposed to be sitting on the 50-yard line with, with the best seats in the house? Or are you supposed to be in the nosebleed? Because, because if, I, if I can convince you, if I can convince you to sit in a certain seat, then, then your world has to play out the, the way it's playing out. But you have to understand the magnitude of that, man. You have to understand the magnitude of that. Again, I'm saying it again, man. There's nothing in this world, no government, no, no, whatever you want to put in that blank that can control you. It's all about controlling the way you think. Because if they can control the way you think, they're saying, okay, this is where you're supposed to be sitting at. This is how your world experience is going to be. Because you're believing what I'm telling you. You're believing you're supposed to be in, in, in the nosebleed. You're believing, you're believing, you know, you grew up on the wrong side of the track. So let, let me just keep reminding you of that. You grew up and you don't have, you don't have a degree or you don't, you didn't have parents in the household. You was a foster child or you're, you're this color. Let me just convince, keep convincing you that this is hindering you 
And I'm and I can keep you, I can keep you sitting wherever I want you to sit. Does that make sense, brothers? It's all about your perspective, man. It's all, it's all about your point of view. And the power is we have we have the power to, to change our point of view at any point in time by simply changing our thoughts. You change your thoughts, man. You 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 will change your point of view, brothers. There's something I talked about in, I believe I talked about this in the recipe, man. Uh this, this recipe is a is a manifestation master class I, I uh I put together. I mean, it's probably been three years now, three or four years ago. Still for sale. Maybe maybe on sale right now too, if you want to check that out. The recipe. And in the recipe, man, I was talking about something which I coined the Manning effect. And in the recipe, man, I was talking about uh, I was talking about the Manning brothers, Peyton Manning and, and uh, uh, you know the Manning, but I can't think of Peyton Manning and not Archie's the dad, Peyton and uh, the other Manning brother. Y'all know the Manning brothers that play play football, right? And I said, man, people don't understand. I said people don't understand the odds of two brothers going to the NFL, playing quarterback, and, and having and having uh, Super Bowl seasons. Like people, you know, we see that and be like, oh man, too. Like, brother, you have no idea what kind of odds have to take place for that to even be be a thing. But that just shows you the reality of, of a person's truth. And, and you had other brothers that did it, Rondé Barber, Tiki Barber, and, and other brothers in the NFL. You have no idea, man, how 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 rare that is. You have a better chance of winning the lottery probably two or three times before you and your brother. Both go to the NFL and both win Super Bowls and both will probably be future Hall of Famers or whatever, right? But you have to understand the magnitude of, of a person's truth or the magnitude of, of where a person chooses to sit. You have to understand, you have to understand the environment these brothers grew up in. Their whole life from probably two, three years old was spent in an NFL locker room because their pops was, was in the NFL. Their pops was a high achiever. So, so they didn't know anything else. This was their norm. This was their truth. Nothing existed outside of that. And that just goes to show you, man, when a person when a person defines their truth, like, like that's just what it is, regardless of what the odds are. So, so when I'm telling people to, to change their truth in the book, I don't know where the book is. When the book, when I'm talking about a singular truth, I'm talking about everything, bro. Because your truth is everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, like for example, for example, some people will say, you know what, man? Uh, like, like life ain't what I wanted to be, man. I'm trying to be X, Y, Z. I'm trying to get to this point. I'm trying to hit this milestone. But you have you have to understand when a man even even when, when a man even makes the statement like, hey, man, I just keep trying to get to this place and I just can't seem to get there. You have to understand that whatever you're experiencing, that's what your truth is. But because because your truth is so is so strong, it's governing is governing so much of your life. That nothing can exist outside of that. It's that strong. Nothing can exist outside of that. So whatever, whatever's going on in your life, whether it's health, finances, your relationships jacked up, it ain't nothing outside of you. It's simply you. It's, sim it's simply you saying, this is my standard. This is my standard of living. Why do you think, why do you think so many, and this is a stat that everybody knows, why do you think that so many people that, that grow up in poverty, that grow up in Section 8, that grow up, uh, on stamps and all that stuff, th this, this tends to be a trend. They'll just go generation in generation and, and, and keep, keep, keep running this cycle. It's not, it's not because, it's not because the people on the other side of the tracks are better than them. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not because their skin is a certain shade of white or black or, or tan. It's not because they, they lack education. It ain't because none of that stuff. It's simply because it's their truth. That's the only reason. And every, every once in a while, you'll have somebody that grows up in the hood, that grows up in the shotgun house, that grows up in section. They says, you know what, man? Like, 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 like for some reason, I, I have the desire to see what's on the other side of the tracks. Let me explore that. You know, even before I explore it physically, let, let me explore it mentally. Let me get online. Let me read books and see what those people over there are doing. Then let me make that my reality. And all of a sudden, man, you see people in the hood saying, oh, man, so-and-so so, so done made it. So-and-so done, he done, he done left the hood. He done left the block. He done, he done left this job. 
A lot of y'all have had people on y'all job. Y'all sitting there talking about, man, we, when we turn X amount of age, 65, 70, we're going to get our 401k and we're going to go fishing every day. But that brother that's in the back that ain't saying nothing, nah, man, that, that brother's looking on the other side of the tracks. He said, y'all can have that vision, bro. Y'all can have that truth. I'm going to be out of here at 30 years old. I'm going to be out here at 40 years old. I'm not going to be doing this my whole life. It's all about your truth. People that leave, people that leave your job, People that are at your job right now that are saying, you know what, man, this is my last year. Or people that said it last year, now they're gone. All they did was change their truth. All they did was change where they were sitting at in the stadium. You know what I'm saying? They're like, you know what? I'm tired of being in the nosebleed. I'm sure the people that are sitting on the 50-yard line, one to four, four rows deep, I'm sure they're seeing the game from a whole different perspective. Hell, I want to watch the game where they're watching it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's simply a matter of that, bro. It's, it's simply a matter of changing where, where you're choosing to sit. You're, wherever you're choosing, wherever you're sitting right now, you're choosing to sit there. The good, the bad, the ugly, it's your choice. All you have to do is change, cha cha change your, change your perspective, man. When people get on the news talking about, when people get on the news talking about, oh, what, what, what groceries are high, uh, gas is high, Mortgage and rent is going through the roof. You have one or two choices. You can say, you know what? Let, let me get, let me, let me start thinking like part of the collective and start complaining like everybody else. Is it messed up? Yeah. Inflation and all this stuff, outrunning wages. Yeah, it's jacked up. It depends on where you're sitting at though. If, if you're sitting on the 50 yard line, you're like, you know what? I have bigger things to think about than worry about, uh, the price of strawberries going up 50 cents. It's about where you're sitting at. People are sitting on the 50 yard line. They're not, they're not thinking about that. They're looking at bigger fish. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. It's all about controlling your mind. When you see something on the news about all oh, inflation and this, 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 it's not to inform you. You think the powers that be care about you being informed? You think they care about you being informed? Come on, man. Think about all the stuff we learned in school. 95% of it was garbage compared to what we need to survive in the world. And now all of a sudden as an adult, you think they, they're concerned about you being informed? There's nobody on television that cares about you being informed. They care about you being influenced. They care about you being influenced. Because you're, if you're influenced, they don't have to tell you where to sit. You pick your own seat. You walk in the stadium and say, you know, I see, I see, I see 70,000 seats available. But since I can't think for myself, since I don't know how to form my own truth, let me go sit, let me go sit up here by the pigeons. Let me go, let me go sit down there, man, where, where, up, up there where everybody lives in fear. Well, can't nobody really see the game up front. Let, let me sit up there by them. When you see, when you see a brother get shot on TV, when you see, when you witness that on television, you, you really think that's to inform you? Think about this. Think about all the crime in the world. All the crime in the world. Hell, think about all the crime in your city. Your city alone. All the dangerous things that are taking place that you might need to know. That you might need to know. You think, you think they care about you, uh, uh, they, they, you think they care about you knowing that, that a person that look a certain way, Five states away got took out. You think that's to keep you enlightened on the current events? No, brother. Contraire, moon frere. That's simply to plant a seed, bro. It's simply to plant a seed. All of it is, man. When, when a movie comes out and it's box office and it's getting out, it's to plant a seed, but the majority of the time, if it's on the news, it's definitely planting a seed, man. So understand, man, that it's all about, it's all about where you're choosing to sit. It's all about where you're choosing to sit. And the thing is, nobody can control that. Nobody can control where you choose to sit, bro. We have the power to create, create it in our own minds, man. And, and the way to manage that, bro, the way to manage that is, is controlling. And I'm talking, going back to the, how the news is, is trying to affect your emotion. It's all about connect. It's all about. It's all about protecting your emotional energy. And for a lot of y'all, this ain't the first time y'all heard this. It's all about protecting your emotional energy. It's all about protecting your mood. 
There's a book uh, by Neville Goddard. Y'all know I love Neville Goddard, man. One of his books, uh, Resurrection. In Resurrection, Neville, Neville said, uh, Neville Goddard said that if a man can control his mood, and I'm paraphrasing, Neville said if a man can control his mood, he can prophesy his own life. <laughs> Think about that, bro. That's facts. If a man can control his own mood, he's pretty much his own prophet. He's calling his own shots in life. That's why I say it's all it's all about controlling your emotional energy, bro. So when you watch when you watch television, when you when you listen to this trap music, listen to it as a form of entertainment, man. But don't don't let it shift your mood. Don't let this stuff don't let this stuff uh 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 put you in a low vibration. And it will. Listen to trap music all day if you want to. Listen to it for a week. Matter of fact, better yet, do this. Don't listen to it. Go go a whole week. Go a whole week, musical fast, listening to no low vibration of music. L li listen to some. Listen to some some classical. Listen to some some high vibe R and B or listen to some for a week. I guarantee you, man, you'll understand what I'm talking about. I did that by accident some years ago. Some years ago, man, I went on a fast and didn't even know it, man. Some years ago, man, I was living in uh I was living in Shreveport. I was living in Bolger City, Louisiana, man. And, and I just I just wanted to, I was just tired of life. I said, you know, I need my life needs to do something else. And I just for for that for a solid week, I think I quit eating uh certain foods. All I ate every day was black eyed peas and like spinach or something. I cut out all the trap music. Now I wasn't even doing this as a game plan. I did this like individually. I was just like, let me do this, I'm gonna do this. And I cut, I cut, I cut, I cut, I cut all rap music out, man, for like a week. And my, man, my life did some some things, bro. My life did some things. Now, I'm not sitting there saying what you should listen to, what you shouldn't listen to. I listen to trap now. If I go to the gym. I mean, I'm, I'm 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 selling dope in my mind. You know what I'm saying I'm, I'm listening to, you know, I'm, I'm I'm being entertained by trap music sometimes, man. But it's all entertainment. And I understand when I leave the gym, man. Like, right, you know what? It's time to leave that leave that on Spotify. You know what I'm saying? When I'm at home, 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm listening to some, some smooth jazz or some, not, not that it's the best version of music to me. It's because I'm trying to protect my, my emotional state. Because I understand if, if I, if I protect my emotional state, I'm protecting my world now. I'm prophesying my own future. It's that serious, man. Hanging around, hanging out in these low vibrational places. I've been looking at, uh, like when I'm thumbing on Instagram, uh, and I guess it's because I'm subscribed to, I don't know, a cer certain few channels. I be seeing, they be promoting like some of these, some of these, uh, venues here in Dallas. Uh, I can't think of the name of them, but it's like clubs, you know, clubs, but it's like, it's like an older crowd, you know, it's like, uh, it's like clubs for people that are 35, 45, 55, you know, it's just like day parties. And I can't think of the name of this place right down, right down there. Like, La Tava, La Cantina, some up here, up here in the colony area, man. And they'll, they'll show, they'll show clips of it, you know, trying to promote everybody going. And I'm looking at it and, and it's like, you know, they'll have a nice little track in the background, some, some nice little music, man. And it's like, if you cut that music off and just look at it, I'm like, what, like, why do they want to go there? Like, I'm like, at my age, bro, I'm 47 years old. When I see people standing around, shoulder to shoulder, drinking, the men are kind of, it's like, and it's like nobody's is even talking. I see the men looking around, you know, looking at all the women walk by. I see the women walking around like they on cloud nine. I see everybody. I'm like, like what, what part of the game is, is supposed to be fun about this? I'm like, what, what part of the, you know what I'm saying? Like, like life is too, like life is too serious for me to go put myself amongst a, a, a group of people and we're not talking about nothing productive. Cause I, I understand that if we aren't talking about anything productive, then, then the vibe is going downhill. If we just sitting around listening to a, a little baby and, and, and cooling the game, I, I can do that at the house. Cause I understand that when everybody gets in a big room like that and everybody gets to start, start drinking, they, drinking on their drink, I understand that the energy is finna shift. I, I have no desire to be a part of that. Zero desire. Doesn't even look entertaining to me in my 40s. And I'm saying people 45, 55, I'm like, what, what are y'all doing out there? Like, 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 where are you choosing to sit in life? There's no way in the world 
there's absolutely no way in the world that I'm finna get up and go out on, on a Saturday, Saturday after Saturday, and kick it, and I'm not satisfied with my life. Bro, there is no way in the world. I just started watching football. I just started watching football. I might I might well catch one or two games a season. Me and my son might watch a game. Or I'm catching all my son's games, of course. But I'm talking about watching, watching football on television? Bro, I just started watching that. I just started back. Of course, I'll catch some highlights every once in a while if I'm... But watching a whole game of football and getting off of that and, and my life is not what I want it to be? I don't see how brothers do it. Going to clubs every, every, every night and then Monday through Friday, I'm miserable on some assembly line? I don't see how brothers do it. But when, when I was still in my job, I said, man, if, if, I, want, if I want my life to be better, I, I got to find a new seat. I got to find a new seat in this game of life. It's like there are people that are getting up every day and, and, and they're doing what they want to do. They're doing what they love. They're, they're making content. They're sharing their experiences with their brothers and sisters. And I'm sitting here and, and I'm sitting here in this cubicle or traveling to a destination that I don't want to go to, to sell products that I'm not interested in. And this is my life. But on the weekend, I'm going to get up and, and hit Coco Pellies and, and all this stuff like it's all good. I'm going to get there and watch seven or eight football. Bro, what part of the game is that? What part of the game is that, man? A, a, lot, a, lot of it, a, lot of, a lot of it is, man, is simply us saying, you know what? Let me pause on life for a minute and let me find, let me, find me another position. Let me find me a, me a new seat in this game of life, brother. Because it's all, about your, it's all about where you choose to watch the game from. The place I choose to watch the game from now is getting up, living life on my own terms. Do I want bigger and better things? Of course. Of course. But for me to sit here and say, you know what, man? My life ain't because it, what it's supposed to be because of this. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. It's like, no, I'm not trying to do nothing. My life is what I say it is. My life is because I'm sitting in this seat. If there's something else I want, then that means I need to get up and go sit in a different seat. Not complain about it. Find a new seat. Stop listening to people that are telling me that I can't sit in a certain place. Because all they're doing is telling you your truth, man. Like you have, you have no idea. You have no idea how much. It's not even about how much. You have no idea that that governs everything in your life. There's nothing that your truth doesn't govern. There's nothing that your truth doesn't govern. You know what I'm saying? I can remember, bro. Like y'all heard me say on some of my, on, my, on some of my YouTube videos. Matter of fact, if y'all aren't subscribed to the YouTube channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Immortal Minds, Conversation with Soul. If you haven't bought the book, A Singular Truth, go and check the reviews out. A Singular Truth.com. Don't even buy the book. Go check the reviews out. See what people are saying about it. It's all about your truth, man. What was I saying? Like, like people have no idea how, how much, how much that, how much your truth governs that. For example, for example, like on my YouTube videos, man, I was, uh, like when I first started making YouTube videos, man, I was, I was almost 270 pounds, 267 pounds. And to me, I can sit there and blame it on, oh man, when they put chemicals in the food. Or, oh man, I, you know, the grocery store sells this kind of food. I can name it on, on a billion different things. You have to understand, you have to understand that, that, that a certain truth was in my mind. And that truth was this. Me growing up seeing my father, my father was a, was a handsome man. But my father had my father had a had a had a gut on him. I can remember that about him at a young age. My father had a gut on him. So in my mind, that was life. In my mind, like that that was the standard. In my mind, that was my truth. So so when I'm two sixty seven and a big gut, it's like yeah, y'all might see it it it, it, it is it, it's unhealthy, but it's my truth. It's my truth. So it's my reality. I'm gonna tell you how strong truth is. I can remember at one point in time, man, where I was going to the gym at least five times a week for, for a couple of years. I'm talking about running on a treadmill, sweating, lifting weights, 267 the whole time. Going to the gym every day. My truth wouldn't let me lose weight. Because if I go to the gym and lift weights every day, my truth was saying, hey, you, you, if you, if your truth is still to look like this, we got to recalibrate. We, we got to send you down to Waterberg. We got to send you down to Popeyes. Put an extra few thousand calories on you, man, because 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 you you can't you can't experience outside of what your truth is. 
So it wasn't about going to the gym for me. It was about changing my mindset. Hell, I could have stopped going to the gym. If I would have changed my mindset, something would have calibrated for me to start losing weight. I would have cut back on food. I cut back on coats like I did. Truth is everything, bro. Truth is everything. That's why, that's why, like when I talk about the red pill community, and I gotta make a video about something, man. A brother, a brother left me a comment, uh, on, on my last video about something about, about red pill and women. I gotta reread it, but I might, I might make a video on that here in a minute and put that on YouTube. But like, that's the one thing I say about the, about red pill. Like when you listen to any kind of content, whether it's red pill, whether it's pink pill, whether it's women bashing men, whatever it is, when you listen to this content every single day, you're like, oh, I'm just listening to this for, for, for entertainment. And the whole day it's saying, women ain't nothing. Women ain't nothing. Men ain't nothing. All they want is one thing. Men want sex. Women want your money. What? If you listen to that all day, it becomes your reality, bro. It becomes your reality, sister. You might sit there and think it's for entertainment purposes only. It's becoming your truth. Now all of a sudden, every woman you talk to is all about your bag. Every man you talk to is all about getting you between the sheets. Because that's what you consume all day. That's what you believe. That's what you think. I'm telling you, it, it's that strong, man. Your truth is everything. It's everything, man. That, that's how you. That's why you have to, brother. You have to be careful about 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 who you entertain. You have to enter, uh, be careful about about places you. I mean, you got to be careful about everything because everything is is an attempt to uh, to shift that. To shift that truth in you, man. We got a, a shout out to uh, uh, V, my sister Vicky, man, at Floretry. She shared, she shared, she shared an excerpt from the book earlier. Let's see if I can find that, man. Or you can go, you can see it in my stories, man. That's my sister right there, Vic, Victoria. Follow it uh, at Floretry or at, at Luna. Where, where was that? Where was that she put? Where is it at? It was a quote of the book, man. Oh, here it is. Here it, here it, she, it said this. And this is from a singular truth, right? It says the power. Yeah, go go flow, go follow my sister at, at Floetry Collective or at Luna. She got two pages. It says this out of the singular truth. It says the power that lays dormant within him is the creative force that powers the game of life. And at some point, man will question if he has been manipulating the game for himself or if he has been been, been deceived into creating a world for others. That's the first part. Think about that, man. Think, think about what you got to think about what the motive is. When you say, when you say, well, so if somebody wants me to sit in this seat and see the world from this point of view and spend money on these shiny things, like, like what's their motive? What would their motive be? People are influencing you to, 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 to win off of you. If I can convince you to go buy 30 Gucci belts this year instead, instead of, instead of investing money in, 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 in your future, don't you think somebody's winning from that? If I can convince you to go go eat fried chicken every day and, and, and sit on the couch and watch Super Bowls instead instead of eating making healthier choices, don't you think somebody's somewhere winning behind that? So that's what I know what I said in the book, man. Like it's this question if he has been manipulating the game for himself or if he's been been deceived into creating a world for others. But then the second part says this. It says, not in the sense that he is merely exchanging his labor for wealth, but in the sense that he has succumbed to the systems of propaganda, entertainment that distorts his reality and the ideas of collective consciousness that have been accepted as his own truth. That's the ultimate manipulation. That's the ultimate manipulation, man. Have they, have they convinced you that the world that you live in, that you're unhappy with, is your idea? <laughs> that, that's the game. That's the game right now. They're, they've convinced you that this is your idea. Think about that, bro. Think about that. You get up in the morning. I, I, I hope and pray that, that I hope and pray that the place you go and spend eight nine hours is is a place that you love. Because contrary to popular belief, there are some people that get up early in the morning and go to a job and love it and thrive from it and benefit from it and, pro and protect and provide for their families from it and have healthy retirements from it. Don't let people talk you into saying, oh, well, just working a job is bad. No, 
If that's your truth, if you're happy there, brother, you should stay there until you retire. Right? But think about this. There are some people that get up, go to a job that they can't stand. They can't stand M making a wage that, that's not enough for the life they want to live or barely make it in the life. And they, they've convinced you that, 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 hey, this is your idea. And when I say your idea, they, they've convinced you that, hey, because my skin looks like this, or, oh, oh, hey, uh, uh, since, I, since I grew up in a city where the population was only 2,000, 3,000, I'm supposed to live like this. They've convinced you of that. And you've accepted it. They've convinced you that, bro. The tube has convinced you that. Channel 7 News has convinced you that. The music you, li you listen to has convinced you that. Your low vibrational friends have convinced you of that, bro. They've, con they, they've convinced you to sit in the nosebleed section of life. I'm telling you, bro, all you have to do is sit still and say, man, you know what? Okay, this is my truth. And I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to get over here. I'm going to get over here. All you have to say is, you know what? Let me, let me, let me look at my, let me, let me look at my current situation. In other words, let me look at the game from, from where I'm sitting at. Yeah, I see them over there sitting in, in, in the good seats. They sit in the cushion seats on the 50 yard line. I'm a, I'm up here in the corner in the end zone, look, looking around the goalpost from the nosebleed section. In other words, sit down and say, you know what? Let me observe my world, man. Let me observe what's going on. The first thing, let me do, let me take ownership of it. Let me say that nothing is taking place outside of my power. If something is, is going wrong, let, let me let me take ownership of that. It's going wrong because it's my truth. My health is jacked up because of my truth. My, my relationship is jacked up because of my truth. You know what I'm saying? Accept that man, then say, you know what? I want my truth to be something else. Let, let, let me go in, let, let me go outside of my current situation. Let, let me ride to the other side of the city and see how they're living. Let, let me ride by the, by the, uh, 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 the Audi dealership. Let me ride by the, by the Nissan or by the Lambo, or by the whatever dealership and see, and see what that vibration looks like. Let me see what people are looking at from that point of view and let me make it my own. Let me stop hanging out with people that still feel that same vibration. I'm telling you, man, it's, 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 I don't even want to say it's game changer, brother. It's life. It's being human. It's being human, man. And you have to understand, you have to understand that, that, that when your, when, when your truth is, you gotta understand this, bro. And the reason why you have to protect your truth so much, there are some people, there are some people, and when I say some people, I'm talking about myself at an earlier version in life, right? I'm talking about many, many, many moons ago, back when I was in my twenties. There are, there are some people, man, that are in relationships and, and are, and are, you know, happy and healthy relationships that 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 have no social media that really don't watch a lot of certain things on TV they don't go out and have certain things clubs and all that stuff they're in their own bubble and their relationship is so peaceful so peaceful but one day one day either that man or that woman might say you know what let me, let me get on the ground let me get on the book let me get on the tube and see what the world is talking about what's what's all the hoopla about What's, what, why are everybody talking about social media? Let me see what this is about. Well, let me stay, or let me start hanging out with my partner, right? I know he, I know he with a whole new woman every other weekend. Let me hang out with my sister. Even though I know she married, she still got a few cletuses she creep with every couple of weeks. And, and let me start entertaining that energy. All of a sudden, what you had that was good is now starting to, starting to taste a little sour. Been good for 20 years. Your relationship been healthy for all this time, but, but you've allowed a seed of manipulation to creep inside of your, you gotta understand, man, misery loves company. And, and when you vibrate now, when, when you go into work and you talking about, Hey, I'm about to leave my job. I'm about to start this barbershop, this salon. I'm about to start selling this product. I'm about to start this page. You have to understand some people are going to be dropping seeds. Chef Bay. Some people are going to be dropping seeds in on you, bro. Some people are going to be dropping seeds of fear in on you. And in the book, I, thought I gave a perfect example of that. You got to understand, man, you, you have to protect your temple, bro. 
It's everything. Like I'm sitting in the house right now, it ain't nothing on, no TV on, no nothing on. I'll go days like this. I've made this my peace. Silence. It ain't a noise taking place until my son walked through the door. Silence. Because I understand that as long as it's silent here, whatever energy I put in this space is what it is. Is what it is. You can't be letting everybody in, in your crib. You can't be letting everybody in your car. You can't be letting everybody text you, man. Because their, their energy is coming with seeds, bro. It's coming with seeds, man. I'll go days at a time, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'll go days at a time, months, with no, with no, cut my phone off. Cut it off or cut my ringer off. Man, I, I had my, man, I'm going to tell you this, bro. No lie. I put my phone on Do Not Disturb one day. This was in May. Middle of May. That was the first time I ever put my phone on, on Do Not Disturb. And fell in love with it. Fell in love with it, man. It wasn't no telemarketers calling. It wasn't nobody texting. It wasn't no, it was just silence, bro. Now, at the end of the day, it was like, dang, I'm missing texts. My mom might be like, hey, man, I called you earlier today at it. And I was like, oh, stop. But, bro, it's peaceful. I'll do it now. I'll cut my, I'll put, I'll put my phone on Do Not Disturb, bro, and zone out. Read a book. Make some content. Go live with my brothers and sisters. And sit here in stillness and create my own world. And watch the game from my own seat. Create my own version of life. And this is another thing, man. Pe people, you have to understand, man. Like, 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 watch the game from where you want to watch the game. In other words, experience life from where you want to experience life. You might, you might look around, you might look and see somebody else in some different seats that look different than yours. But if that ain't your seat, you, you won't be unhappy with what you really desire. You might be unhappy with what you really desire. You, you, you know, your, your brother might go out and buy him a brand new, uh, uh, Cadillac Escalade. You ain't want to know Escalade. You ain't had no desire. He might go get him a, 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 a high rise apartment overlooking the city. You, you've never desired that. You, you wanted, you wanted the, you wanted the house in the suburbs. You desired the wife and the kids. You, you, you desired the, the XYZ. But just because you, you want to, instead of just watching the game and playing the game of life, you want to look around and see what everybody else is doing. Now, now, now you sour with everybody. Because somebody got something that you don't have. What's that about? What's that about, man?